Hey guys, welcome to Strategy Bytes powered by Sky High VIP. Today, I'm touching on the topic of working remotely. Here in Sky High, we do have some employees who work remotely. This is a dream come true for many people. However, there are the usual pros and cons, as you would expect. The best part about working remotely is that you get to completely avoid the morning rush hours and the jams. Your time is flexible to a certain extent and you are not confined to an office. But if you're not careful, the line between home and office can get rather blurry. Working remotely is actually not as easy as what one might think. You have to be very disciplined and constantly keep checking yourself at least till you have established a strict routine that actually works for you. So here are five tips that will come in handy when you are reassigned to work remotely. Tip number one, organize your work schedule effectively. Remember to plan ahead of time, especially so if you're working remotely because there's no one to nudge you along, give you a reminder or even that watchful eye you normally get at the office. Plan at least a few days ahead or for the whole week, that would be great. And write your detailed work schedule down. Constantly update your plan with you know, the meetings that come in, deadlines and other important things as they crop up. And remember to stick to your plan. Tip number two, abide by a strict routine. You are now working remotely. There's a whole lot of flexibility according to you. However, you need a certain structure to carry on your business away from the office. Get ready daily as if you're heading to the office. By 9 a.m., I would assume you would already have showered and have had a great breakfast. Be dressed for business. Be ready to jump into any conference video calls at any point in time. And remember, no one wants to see you in your boxes and your unkempt hair. Get into this habit to maintain your overall productivity. Tip number three, create an effective and designated workspace. You need to get serious about staying in work mode during all working hours. Get yourself organized into a proper workstation with all office supplies and do not forget that all important coffee. If you're working from home, remember your home is primarily an abode for your family. So set aside a private room away from the family where you're able to function effectively without infringing on your family's daily routine. If you're working from a co-working space or a cafe, get there early to get a good spot and early enough to begin your work at 9am. Make the necessary changes and adjustments to help your productivity level soar. Tip number four, do not get distracted. This normally happens when you're working from home and a lot of people go through this as well. Some family members assume that since you're home, they have full access to you. Have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with them beforehand and let them know that though you're there for any emergencies, your primary function during working hours is your business. Let them know that you're available to them during your break times and as well as after your working hours. Don't allow yourselves to get distracted by shows, doctor's appointments, friends visits and so on. Use only your designated break time for your personal stuff. Create a clear distinction between your professional life and your private life. You really need to set these boundaries. Tip number five know when to wind down and switch off. One of the key challenges of you know, all the remote executives is in knowing when to stop work. The emails and messages never stop, and especially so when you're managing a global business. You have to realize from an early stage in your remote work career that you don't always need to answer such emails and messages immediately. Remember, you need some downtime as well. You can't possibly be available 24-7. Just like you set your time to start work, always set a time to wind down for the day and completely stop. Remember to strike a good balance between working hours and family or leisure activities. And always take care of your health. You now have the flexibility, so use it wisely. I trust the tips I have just given you will help you to set up and manage a remote working career more effectively. Do drop me an email at info at skyhigh.vip if you need more pointers as I too work remotely most of the time. Remember to hit subscribe to catch more episodes of Strategy Bytes where I offer you tips not just on your business but also on your personal life. I'm Francis Michael. I'll see you in the next one.